welcome to India Brady Art. A couple of things I want to say before uh, we get started in today's project. Um, I have been absent, as you probably already know. And if you look in the summary tab of my YouTube channel, you will find out why. Um, I'm still battling. Uh, I've got a doctor's appointment this week, so I will find out more later this week. Second of all, I got a gift in the mail. I was so excited. Miss Patricia Davis sent me this gift and she says, enjoy your gift. You might sell it in your Etsy shop. Feel better soon from Patricia Davis. And what it is, is it's a clock mold. Well, that's the back or whatever, but anyway. And then it gives you, you gotta put the batteries in it. Um, it'll give you the, the face to put inside the clock. And it just brought joy to my heart because my late husband has a clock that is shaped exactly like this. It's an old clock that doesn't work anymore. At least I don't think it does. But anyway, and I just, I thought of his clock when I saw this. So... Y'all let me know in the comments how you would like for me to do this clock. Do you want to see a whole bunch of glitter, flowers, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. Y'all come up with something for a change. <laughs> I'm looking for any and all suggestions. Okay, so that's our next project. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, have you seen in previous videos, Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creation sent me these molds and they're bookend molds and it just, it frustrated me so much because they were bent when I got them in the mail. Plus, there's a whole bunch of um, marks inside the, you know, the, what, what do you call it? In, inside the, the surface of the mold. That was number one. Number two, you can see that it's, they don't, the shape. So, and she offered to send me, you know, send these back, send me some other ones. And I said, no, let me see. I can probably, I can probably get them to get back into shape. Well, my idea was, was to take my heat gun and just, you know, put it along here, you know, and, and just kind of mold it into place. And then I thought, oh my God, you're so stupid. The fumes from the plastic would probably make you pass out. So, anyway, um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, these are bookends. And what I'm going to do is make them look like aquarium life. <laughs> I'm going to, actually, I'm going to use the whole entire depth of these molds because I've got rocks and plant life in the fish. So it's going to take up almost all of those molds and I have aquarium rocks that are I'm glad I ordered these because 
they're washed and they have a little bit of a polish to them. Um, I've ordered aquarium rocks before and they, yeah, wasn't, wasn't a good thing. They were, I had to wash them. I don't know how much in order to get all of that dust off of them. But anyway, I'm going to be working in layers, of course. And, um, yeah, let's get this party started.
Okay, y'all. Now for the big unveiling. I was happy, kind of happy with how these turned out. Um, I don't know if it was the humidity or what, but there was a little bit of film in the middle of these. And, um, yeah, I tried to catch it early on and just see if I could do anything about it, but obviously not. But anyway, it's got some bubbles in it, which I kind of expected, but there are a ton of those little bitty micro bubbles. So, which I didn't really care for that much. But, um, I was, I was really happy how they turned out because this is what I had envisioned in my brain. And I do apologize because I didn't have enough time to go get the books and set it up you know, the way that it should look, look like with, um, you know, how the books would look like. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit all so you won't miss any of my videos. And until next time, y'all, dare to create.